Bigger yeah. disappointment, the Cowboys or the Eagles? Oh, it's the Cowboys. It's the Cowboys, 100%. Like, Philly came in the season with expectations, but we start to see – a decline. Like it wasn't shock. I was shocked that it was 32 9. I didn't think the Bucks would beat them 32 to 9, but I picked the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to win that game because of what I had watched the Philadelphia Eagles do. I did not expect Dallas. You can lose any game in the NFL. I didn't expect Dallas to look unprepared. I didn't know if Dak would look like we've talked about. This all is this all is a culmination of what me and Stephen A. talked about all season long. Moments. Dak Prescott didn't raise his level. Mike McCarthy didn't raise his level. Dan Quinn didn't raise his level. At any point in this game, did it look like Dallas had enough to even fight back, let alone get started the right way? And the only reason I believe that Dallas had an opportunity to go to the NFC Championship this year as opposed to some other years is because the landscape of the NFC. I thought they had a better role because it was less difficult to get to San Francisco and try to win that game, even though I didn't think they would beat San Francisco at home. But this is the biggest indictment of all the years that Stephen A. has talked about waiting for the fall and the decline. This is the one to me that, that defines what he's been talking about. This particular performance and the way that they came out against the Green Bay Packers, the Cowboys are the biggest disappointment. Yeah, I totally disagree. The Cowboys are about one game. The Eagles are about one month. And the Eagles collapsed, Marcus, from basically December 1st on, starting with San Francisco, obviously the game in Dallas, losing to Seattle, and somehow losing to Arizona and the mm. Giants, and then getting blown out by Tampa. What the Eagles did from 10-1, and one, Super Bowl team last year, probably should have won the game. Bad call. They were better than the Chiefs. They didn't win the game. And then winning 10 of their first 11, although they were bad signs, they were 10-1. and one. And for them to end this season with seven unbelievably horrendous six, of yeah. football, that is awful. I don't look at this collapse as a one-game scenario when you're asked the question. I'm looking at it from a standpoint of seasonal. The Cowboys are about Sunday, yeah. Green Bay, postseason. The Eagles are about the last seven weeks of the year. So as a result of that, I yeah. think the Eagles are the bigger fall down than Dallas is. You know, Doggy, uh, I understand what you're saying. And I understand that you make a lot of sense because you're thinking about things seasonally. But as I tried to tell you, doggy, just imagine if you're riding a bicycle, right? And you fall off the bicycle. That's entirely different than falling off a damn cliff. You understand what I'm saying? The pain of the fall is far more piercing. You understand what I'm saying? Now, you can sit up there and you can point to the Eagles, all right? And you can talk to their 10-1 and one start and then going 1-6 and six over the last seven games. Here's what I'll throw to you, doggy, while you're wrong and Swagoo is right because the bigger disappointment is the Dallas Cowboys. The Philadelphia Eagles were second in total defense last year. They were 26th this year. They were 26, eighth in scoring yeah. defense yeah. last year. They were 30th in scoring defense this year. They were the number one pass defense last year. They were second to last this year. We saw a deterioration, a deterioration, a disintegration taking place before our very eyes. I recall Doggy being on first take, even when the Eagles were were, were ten and one. Talking about a myriad of times, including their loss to the Jets, where they didn't look like the team that we saw last year. We saw Jalen Hurts turning the football over. We saw an unwillingness to run the football. We saw a coach in Sirianni that didn't appear to know what he was doing without his coordinators. You know, saying Steichen, and go, and, uh, who went to Indianapolis as a head coach, and obviously Jonathan Gannon, who went to Arizona. We Man. saw all of these things. So, again, we were chronicling their demise as the season progressed, week after week after week. That's entirely different than that team that was America's team sticking out their chest, telling you what they were going to do. You know, don't let me call up that sound. 
Don't let me call up that sound of Demarcus Lawrence sticking out his chest after they beat the Philadelphia Eagles. Talk about we going to stomp them again. We going to beat them up again. And then after that, we going to beat them up again. Don't let me pull up a podcast segment from Micah Parsons and what he was talking about. Don't let me bring up Dak Prescott talking about those LV symbols and talking about it reminded him of Vegas and the Super Bowl and how he was preparing for that. Don't let me bring all of that up, okay? Don't let me bring up sound from Jerry Jones and his sound on local radio in Dallas and talking about after a regular season win, this is the most confident he has been. Don't let me bring up the fact that on the 20, the day to the day, the 28th year anniversary of the last appearance in an NFC championship game, the Dallas Cowboys took the field against a quarterback in Jordan Love who was playing his very first playoff game. Don't let me bring that up and don't let me remind this audience that the last time the Dallas Cowboys won a Super Bowl. Do you know that only 10% of United States household swagoo had internet capability? Did you know that Google did not even exist? Google didn't exist. And Bill Clinton was the president of the United States of America. Okay, that's before George W. Okay, that's before Barack Obama. All right, that's before, that's, that's before try everybody else. Listen, man. When you look at the Cowboys and you see how they were sticking out their chest in America's team in a $9 billion franchise where the average NFL franchise was $5 billion because they started feeling themselves, they started chirping like they always do, and the fall, the collapse was that damn was precipitous. The answer to this question is the Dallas Cowboys by a yeah. mile. We oh, saw wait. the Eagles coming, doggy. We did not see. What transpired? They were down 48 to 16 with six minutes left in the game. Doggy, we didn't see that. That's falling off a damn cliff. That is what happened to the Cowboys. That is the biggest disappointment. They're wrong. It is. It they're, is, doggy. They're wrong. It they're is, doggy. Doggy. That no, is doggy, about you can't. a game. Doggy. Philadelphia doggy, blew the division. They had a two-and-a-half game lead in December. Yeah, but their quarterback's hurt. Their defense was a disaster. Yeah, I'm just saying. They're not healthy. Well, Doggy, they, this... they, their defense. You know, let's, let's – you know, they, by the way, about Hurts, let's not go out there. Let's give him a little grief. When you're injured, don't play. When you play, you're not injured. So I don't want to hear about him being banged up. He did not play well. Let's be well, fair. He, 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 also, what, hold on, hold on, he didn't play you well. You need to be fair. You need to be fair. He did not have A.J. Brown. He had him until the other day. He had him. He didn't have. He didn't have. He didn't right have him here. against Tampa. Hey, Marcus. Doggy, I get your point. I get your point, doggy. I get it. I understand it. But doggy, there is no way a team you saw be as dominant as Dallas had been at home. You expect to be down forty-eight I to agree sixteen with that. to the Green Bay Packers, brother. Marcus, that's the bigger disappointment. Marcus, What's up, Molly Q? Th- this is you and I talking, like no one at home's listening. Mm-hmm. Seriously, though, your Cowboys. What was that? It was so embarrassing. Like I turned on the. I couldn't it, well, even believe it. I texted him at halftime. Yeah. I was so disappointed. I expected more. M- They're out of the playoffs. Like Molly, it's not a good look. You, you've heard me. You've heard me talk about Mike McCarthy winning 12 games and that being something that you you can't just take that for granted. But this team being unprepared offensively, defensively, and more importantly, like Dak Prescott not playing up to that level, it was it was very unexpected. I think yeah. for me, the first time, like you look at Dallas and you like, yo, all right, we, we don't know what they're going to do in the playoffs. This was the first year I felt like, okay, this path, to get into San Francisco is a lot more favorable than it's been in the mm-hmm. past as far mm-hmm. as them trying to get to the NFC Championship. And for them to lose 48-16 to Green Bay, yeah. a first-year starting quarterback, a first-year starting quarterback and come into Dallas after game. that success at home and they lose, it was embarrassing. But more, more than embarrassing, Molly, it yeah. actually is the, the definition of who they've been over the last three years. Four years when you start talking about the playoffs. And what's that, fraud? Swag, 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 swag. Uh, yeah, you can't take them seriously. Swag, swag. Do you like music? You like music? I love, I love music. You like music? Anthony Hamilton well, is actually well, check my this favorite out. singer. Check this out. Yeah. Okay, I got you. 
because I got a song for you. This is for you, my brother. Mediocre team and Big D. <laughs> That's what makes this funny. Uh, 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 uh. How about the Cowboys? <sighs> They make me laugh. This is what they do. Black cat running around there, Francis. Say it with me. Don't stop bouncing to it, doggy. Don't stop dancing to it, please. How about them cowboys? <laughs> Funny. Funny, nice job. <laughs> you know, I, I'm just saying. Listen, I hate that they it, made it, you right it, this year. There's, there's, I hate that. Even two, I, that was one of my favorite moments on TV just now. There, there, Literally, you dancing just now. There, there's, there's, there's only two things that disappointed me. First of all, Jerry Jones is my buddy. I don't wish this on him. Not like this. Number two, in all seriousness, I found myself concerned about the health of Jimmy Johnson at halftime. Oh, yeah. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Let, that was bad, y'all. And he was dead serious. And my man, yeah. Michael Strahan, my brother, you know, he didn't realize that Jimmy Johnson, I mean, he wasn't playing. I had Troy Aikman on my podcast, Stephen A. Smith show. He was like, yo, was Jimmy serious. Johnson was not playing. I mean, dead serious. I, he said he had not seen Doggy. Troy Aikman told me he had not seen Jimmy Johnson like that. Since he since he played wow, for Jimmy Johnson, wow. Wow. he said it was that it was that bad. It was embarrassing. The Ring of Honor. He finally gets inducted into it. Long overdue. You're thinking the curse has been lifted. All of a sudden, every vibe is going in Dallas's direction, and lo and behold, you go out on the field and you wet the bed like that. And if you remember, last point, Molly, at the beginning of the season, yes, I told you I was in Vegas. For the Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence Jr. fight, July 29th, yeah. all the Dallas Cowboys showed up. Everybody was there. Jerry was there. Everybody was yeah. there for the Dallas Cowboys supporting Errol Spence, okay? Mm-hmm. And when you brought up Dak, the defense was supremely confident, supremely confident. And they went to bed, too, this week, and we all know that. Oh, they that. sure did. The point, they, 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 they really did. did. But they were supremely confident in themselves. Their concern was their quarterback. They were believing, but the word hope was appropriate. There were not expectations. They were like, yo, he better do this. And even though they can't look at anybody but themselves, I assure you the fact that Dak Prescott threw a pick six and he threw two interceptions and he helped put them in the hole that he put them with the first six interception and then let them go up 27 to nothing with the pick six, Cats ain't going to forget that. You got teammates on the Dallas Cowboys who do not believe in him. They love him. They know what a class individual he is. Class personified, first class individual, role model, the whole bit. But as a player in big situations, yep. they yep. don't have they don't have a strong belief in him. 